Hey nerds, welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts. Today we're going to react to Season 7, Episode 3 of The 100, aka Season VII, entitled False Gods. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there is a reaction. Links are in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. We do not have that many episodes left. 14, counting this one. Wow. Oof. Are you ready? Because I am. Last episode was all about the anomaly. This should pick up right where the first episode kind of ended off, which was more of um, Clark wants to kill Russell. So, Jerry, best work behind the scenes. Let's see how well that works out, especially considering the fact that he is the shit head. One head, the shit head. Russell, Clark, those names are close to begin with. High radiation. Oh, the game by should be down there. Is that Mount Weather? Any change? Is the power supply still choppy and oscillating in the lower region? I can take over, Ellie. Oscillating in the lower region. See, that's what that meant. He said, I'm oscillating in my lower region. So what did do? Yeah, they're both going to die this episode. I'll have you know. I can fix this power problem. I, I never seen any of these people a day in my life. gonna kill me supply still low pulling that last control rod's not a bad idea how braven does kill you yeah well raven said to wait and see just for fun won't go up Roberts. gonna have to do it manually hold that thought he said it won't go up and she said i can fix it do not enter if red uh, red light is flashing use intercom failure to comply may violate uh containment hey, protocol Who the fuck is this again? Because he just mentioned Sinclair, his mentor on the Ark. I mean, this dude wasn't a part of the 100, but, like, where you come from? I guess he still had some people alive. I don't know why I thought it was all just grounders and, like, Octavia. I can use this to keep it up. And she said... Rest in peace, James and Cora. Y'all never got the smash! Oh, look at that blister on his fucking hand! Oh, no. Hell, no. A hundred. That's what he was trying to say the whole time instead of screaming like a fucking maroon. Wow. That's rough. That's super rough. Told you they're both going to die. I mean, I've never seen those. I think we've seen James once before, and he mentioned Sinclair. Good for him. They both sizzle up. Be careful down there, okay? Be careful. Let me move that. Are you all right? We have back-to-back -back shots from people thinking about their daddy. I feel like we may have known Cora though for some reason. That's all I have left of them. Where that was that was Derek's sister's name in Teen Wolf. She had a good three episodes in her. The octopus flame. Hashtag hentai. <laughs> I lost myself last night. We need to ease them into this new life. Oof. It rained so much in between those last two shots because her hair is soaked compared to what it was five minutes ago. Three seconds ago, not five minutes. It's a drastic. Never mind, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to keep it she loves you too. I'll do my best to make you proud. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys. I don't think I could bury that ring if it's me. Unless she wanted the ring to be buried with her, I don't know if I could do it. You're gonna bury the flame? What kind of place do you have? You're gonna bury the flame with Abby? May we meet again? Oh. You know, there's a con the constant of may we meet again, right? That's a consistent thing throughout the entire show. 
we have the anomaly. We have this weird travel system going on. Some people may meet again. The more I'm thinking about it, or it could have, now I'm starting to think about the whole ending of the show since this is the, the grand finale season. It could have an ending similar to other shows we've watched on the channel with some uh, little reunions. I don't want to say which because I forget everybody that comes in here has already watched the shit that we've watched. So, but yeah. Could be. Preparations must be made. Preparation H? It's time to talk to Russell. Last night, you begged me to save you from the flames. And now you want it quick, so you can pretend you're still civilized. No. My people need to feel my death. This motherfucker said, burn me alive. And so do you. Okay. Very well. Fire it is. Prime fire. Andrew don't give a flying shit, bro. She'll set you, she'll light you ablaze with a zippo. Oh, they are cuckoo banana batshit crazy. Burn for killing Priya. Delilah deserved justice. And if you have a problem, leave. You got a problem? I ain't making no more biscuits. What are we doing? We're just gonna kill each other as soon as we leave. Thank you for the candle. Haley, it's me, Jackson. They brought me a candle, and I'm. I'm sitting here with my boyfriend having a good time. Hey, there's one to check in. Once an episode at least. We talked about this. Like we have a choice. So we might as well enjoy it. I concur. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. <laughs> enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. Good morning. I don't know who the fuck that is, but you need it. Here's you walking out into space and you still can't knock. It's incredible, really. Raven. You think you could lock a door. <laughs> What's up, Raven? You could just knock. It's clearly not the reactor. Power's out all over Sanctum. James Raven got no respect for anybody's personal space. Now, Raven been the backbone for majority of this show when it comes to solving things and figuring things out. But if there's one thing that she's going to do is she's going to cock block. And for no reason other than to make herself giggle. Leave him alone. Can, can they withstand that because of being from space, right? But James was also from space. Ooh, they in there. Day. Okay, never mind. Never mind, they're in there in that room. It's different. Can't. We need to help them. No, they're, yeah, they're gone. Ooh. Two fried bologna sandwiches. And now he was up on the thing screaming on his knees and she was already dead. So unless he crawled his way over to her, why is he down there? To pull the control rod too fast. The spike of radiation would be lethal. If the core reaches 1500 degrees, the whole reactor melts down. We'll all die. Commercial break. And we're back. So put on a, a fallout suit and go in there. Something. You are adorable. Those literally do nothing against gamma rays. We well, just threw you that, which is why they don't have any. What they did have is night blood, and so do you. You're prime now, Murphy. Act like one. Pip, pip. Get to the point. Gamma radiation, bro. The Incredible Hulk. Here's the deal. The core is overheating. One of the control rods that slows the nuclear reaction down is jammed in the up position and won't drop into the core. Because of that, it's getting too hot. And because of that, the coolant pipe has burst in two places. If the core temperature reaches 1500 degrees, the reactor will melt down. And, and we all die. Bye bye, Snake. Bye bye. Kablooey. So, how do we stop it? We push in the control rods, we plug the cracks for good. Just that simple. I like you. Someone has to go into primary containment to get the control rods in place. Everybody likes Indra. Nightblood's not a guarantee, but it will help. Oh, God. <laughs> what, what? Like, like, come you on. Your hands full with Russell's execution. So I destroyed the flame. That monster was Sangeta Cruz's greatest champion. You had no right. The greatest right. champion. You had no right. I am the flame keeper. You were the flame keeper. Fuck you and your braids. You're a traitor. Night, please. 
We spent six years together. The fuck's name is Knight. The flame might be gone, but we are still here. With a K. Still one people. We are all in danger. With the reactor. Who will be brave enough to help us? Unless y'all all some baby back bitches. Who's back there in the hood, by the way? They keep showing that individual. Too much for volunteers. Sengeta crew, we're done here. Man, this man went straight from one crew back to Sengeta crew. Faith may be blind, but loyalty isn't. Congratulations. You just lost one crew. Tisk tisk. The truth shall set you free. And if they all want to be some little, mm, okay, okay. <laughs> Add some more kindling. I really want to see a big fireball on this one, brother. Is that Woody Harrelson's son? Like, why does he? Uh... Hey. Raven. Hatch, right? I'm Raven. Every time somebody yeah. just wants to get a little bit of action, you pop up. Brewery's guest. Why well, do not miss that jackass? Nobody misses McCreary. They wouldn't have settled for a squatter's camp. <laughs> yeah. McCreary had a lackluster death, bro. He deserves something violent on screen. I could use some help, and your people have the skills. Uh, look. You in or not? What the hell? Worry. It's not me. What? You have fun, Shepard. I'll be waiting for you in the greenhouse tent. I just don't like the vibes they give off. My brother just wants some Joe juice, bro. He just wants some Joe juice and some kisses. That's all he wants from his little honey bunny is some. X, y, and Z. Follow me. And he just wants some Joe juice. It's like Raven found her volunteers. Come on, Amori. I just really don't think you could ever go wrong with a black dress shirt. I just feel like all black should just be like, it's just the move. Now, I say that when I'm a person that loves a lot of different colors. I'm wearing a pink hat and a blue shirt, but like dressing, I wish more people when they dressed up would wear like. Pink, blue, yellow, Easter ass colors. Throw some purple in there, and some do. But something about just black on black on black just looks so nice. Black shoes. Get you some goofy socks. Maybe a SpongeBob SquarePants on your right sock. And maybe Iron Man on your left. Mix it up, you know? Some black dress pants. Or actually, get you some nice uh, gray dress pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the black shirt. Ooh. Oof. Fire. Go. Core access. Clear. Ain't enough time to say and look at the goddamn bodies move. Go on, Amori. You've got this. As soon as all the rods are in the reactor. Oh, I hate that Amori's the one in there, especially since they were trying to smash earlier and Raven cucked them. 55 seconds. Three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five now. Mississippi, Keep six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi. That was a fast one, bro. Thirty-five. Thirty. Twenty-five. Come on, Emo. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. You got ten seconds. For ten seconds, you gotta get out of there. Seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi. the longest 10 seconds of my life! Time, Amore. Amore, get out of there now! Run! Put some fucking pep in your goddamn step! Come on! What the hell? Get the decontamination now! Still climbing? Damn it! We need the cooling line fixed! We're working on it! Hey, hey, hey! Decon shower removed 95% of the radiation. I'm not paying attention, huh? Yeah, I don't know my rap. Come on. 
I don't know why I thought for a second she was like, you're not paying attention, like something bad was going to follow that, but she was just talking about that throwaway yeah, line from Murphy. Pay attention. Oof. That shit was stressful as fuck, bro. Hopefully it takes a nice little shower. Get some of the radiation off. They got to fix that cooling pipe, though, because they're, they're reaching boiling points. If you say the wrong thing, you won't get to choose your death. You know what this reminds me of? That episode of Game of Thrones with the green, the green flame. Bro, I was on the edge of my seat watching that shit. I still say to this day, if if Game of Thrones, like, we don't know how good House of Dragons is going to be. But, like, if the Game of Thrones show was out and I was doing reactions at that point, y'all would have been in for a fucking treat. I was losing my mind the whole time that green flame. Or I was shaking. I was yapping. Oh. The way that that episode made me feel. Oh, shot him right in his motherfucking shoulder meat. Where the fuck did he get a gun? Stomp him out. Damn. So much for your peace. Jump him. I don't like that Andrew's in the thick of it. Y'all really can't get that under control? Do a Will Ferrell desk pop. Raven, you're the queen of doing the impossible, right? I'll spin the dial. I'm not just turning dials. I I'm controlling the flow of coolant. One mistake and... <laughs> oh, Murphy! That shit was greed. Uh, that makes me feel so much better. Raven? What's going on? That shit was green. I went into primary containment. If he's getting sick, that means more radiation is leaking than I thought. Them motherfuckers are gonna die in there, bro. Oh, there goes one. Down goes Frasia. Do you do anything to save your own ass? Secondary containment field. Wow, it's bro. Go be a cockroach. That shit's fucked. The temperature is 1490 degrees. 10 degrees from meltdown. Alright. Oh, oh. Winner. We get this done. Yeah, we'll get it done then. Shit. Hurry up for when y'all passes out from the goddamn shit shit. Ooh, you got eight. Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Oh, <laughs> you know, Nixon and I. Nixon. Did a pretty sweet Watergate. score once in Columbus. The savings alone held it. They never even saw it coming. And now I'm on another planet trying to stop a nuclear meltdown. Ain't that some shit, brother? Hey, baby, I'll tell you what. That's a wild ass story. You can't go in there. Shut the fuck up and get it done. I don't got anything yeah, I ain't got nothing for 1094 either, bro. We just need to go ahead and. Supposed to be the worst of the worst. We just gotta wheel a little bit faster there, buddy. Yeah, it wasn't. Until it became homicide. Murder was the case that they gave me. Nikki, she shot first. Huh? So those two cops were there. Cops? Well, he was already a murder rap, so we executed the hostages. He executed he the hostages. All right. That's because you're a piece of shit, bro. Hashtag fuckboy. There's no making up for it. Yes, tell it to your forehead. Don't get it at 99. Don't get it at 99. Get it at 98. Ah, I just, oh, it almost go. It We're gonna be okay. Ooh, now get shit. Out of there. Welcome to the world of Gray. We had a radiation leak. You got a bullshit. You said this was safe. It was. was. I trusted you. <laughs> damn, damn. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Listen, I know how you feel, but this solves nothing. Stop me as you die with it. Oh, underground. Y'all gonna let her fight y'all off like it? Oh my god, right, right, right. Get 
y'all are y'all are bad at communication everybody in this show is bad at communication and i've said it before nobody knows how to fucking lie right there in that moment and raven's crying <gasps> didn't have to be raven who said it because it's been somebody else you said this was safe it was and then we had a gas leak we had a radiation leak that took over we tried to get them out but it was too little too late he chose to stay in to fix the pipe to save all of us he died a hero Problem solved. What you sipping? Some chamomile tea? Y'all up here in the penthouse. Everybody else sleeping in goddamn tents. It always ends the same. Mm. I used to think fighting is what we do. Now I worry that fighting is what we are. That's what Jordan uh that's what that, that's what Jasper said a while back. But we keep ending up in the same place. And every time people die. That is true. Clark's out here dressed like a divorce mom going to a parent teacher conference. Tobin they... was honored to give his life for yours. Tobin! The honor is all mine. Hallowed be your name. Y'all still believe that bullshit? What's in the cookie? Switchblade? Just a good ass cookie, huh? <laughs> I thought it was going to I thought the motherfucker. I thought they put something. I thought they put something in the cookie. It's just a good ass cookie. Oh, man. It's a. Uh... <laughs> we did an escape room once. And we're in the room. And I was just like, normally I'm so suspicious of everything. And we were looking at this bar of soap. And I'm like, man, it's just a goddamn bar of soap. And the, the key, one of the keys to get out of the room we were in in the escape room was in the bar of soap. I never felt so dumb. My buddy's like, I'm not going to break it. And I was like, I don't think you should break it. And he broke it. And the key was in there. Hip, hip. Uh, so, wrestles followers uh, foment violence as he prepares to meet his fate. Meanwhile, a faulty nuclear reactor endangers all of Sanctum. So, this feels just like a, um, and again, it's a term that's used very loosely when I say it. Because filler episodes means it doesn't progress the story further, right? But this episode just has a lot of fluff compared to one and two. Well, two was kind of the same way. One was like really, but three, this is more. You know, we haven't, we didn't see any of of uh, Octavia, Dioza, Gabriel, etc. Hope we still haven't seen Bellamy since the start of episode one. He got fagonked. Salarke, Clark doesn't even know what's going on with all that. But here's the thing, though, is they were still around when that big surge happened in season six. So I feel like somebody would be like, hey, whatever happened with that, by the way? Like, where's Gabriel? Where are these people? What's going on? Yada, yada, yada. So I feel like that's that's a big thing. Uh, Raven leads people to their death. Radiation had spiked, and she led them in there to die. Murderers. No telling what the other ones did, but he executed the hostages. Innocent people. So I feel no anything for him dying. I feel nothing for his girlfriend being mad. I mean, y'all are y'all are on that prison ship for a fucking reason. You murdered innocent people during a bank robbery. Not everybody deserves to get redeemed. I don't know how many times I gotta say that. But, uh, yeah, Raven leaves those people there to die. Hopefully no long-term effects for Amori. Um, seems like Jonathan's good as well. Clark trying to calm things down. No Maddie this episode, but she is officially relieved of her commander duties. Gaia burying that at the beginning of the episode fully gets to bury it by the end of it. And Indra making the decision, um, especially coming up and saying, hey, we got to keep you alive. We don't want your people to riot. But it was all a part of the plan all along with that dude with the red hair. Firing that false gods is what he yelled. Roll credits. And um, Jordan being on their side and just getting a bomb-ass cookie at the end. Raven got the shit beat out of her, but hopefully she'll recover as well. And on that note, okay, why do things keep falling? Something else just fell through this little crack over here. Counting the next episode, we have 13 episodes left of season 7 of The 100. Season 7, Episode 3, entitled False Gods, 
season seven, episode four entitled. Hesperides? Hesperides? Hepatitis? Anyways, I'll see you guys over there. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.